welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sonica. And if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, my name is Sonica, and I make YouTube videos in hopes of it paying off my student loans. But today we're gonna talk about a really big life update that had happened a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, this video will be just a short, brief video. Um, I'm not gonna go into details because I will have another video where he comes in and he tells us how he planned it. What was going through his mind, what was going through my mind at the time. Um, but yes, your girl is finally engaged to my best friend. <laughs> um, let's play the thumbnail. <laughs> so it actually <laughs> happened um, one month ago in January 2020. Um, he proposed a day before my birthday, so January 6th. <laughs> so we went out for a day at Navy Pier for their uh, winter wonderland because it's never been, obviously. And then afterwards, uh, we went to have dinner at, G uh, technically we're supposed to eat at Gen Gino's East, but every time we went to Gino East, we went to two Gino East, and they were both closed because for some reason they had like a comedy bar or whatever, but like Gino's East, I am very disappointed because we wanted to reconnect there because as best friends, we went there and we had a great time. <clears throat> And then, um, what do you call that? So we finally decided to go to, uh, Giordano's because he's never been. And aside from Gino's Eats, I also love the pizza, the deep dish pizza at, uh, Giordano's. And so after dinner, we, there, uh, we took pictorials outside of Giordano's because it was like a plaza and there was like a lot of, uh, trees that were covered with lights and it was very magical. But when I was trying to take pictures of us on a selfie stick, he kept laughing and he wouldn't pose for the picture. And then I was like, what the heck? And then, um, and then finally, after like a million tries, we finally got a good picture. And then we headed over to Million Park. And he kept taking pictures of my back. Like, for some reason, I was just like, okay. So after we saw the Christmas tree, which was still there, we th then took pictures um, behind the bean and um, I was posing for a picture and he was behind me so he was kind of taking pictures on my back for some reason and then he said something and um, I didn't know what he said but uh, so I turned around and then he was already on his knee and I was just like what is he about to do? <laughs> <laughs> like oh my god and like well, the moment I turned around that's when he took out I guess he had trouble taking out the box out of the box <laughs> the ring and then like uh, he, when he took out the white box that's inside the box I'll explain later but <laughs> the box fell out of his hand and then and I was just like all I could say was like what the hell are you doing what the hell are you doing Luckily, there was not a lot of people there because I, I, I was very speechless. I didn't know what was happening, but I said yes, obviously. Um, and I couldn't be more happier than to say yes to my best friend of, technically, it would be six years now. And if you're watching this now, baby, I love you. Oh, my heart. Oh. This is the ring. Not really. Right here. I don't know if you can... I don't well anyway this is the ring <laughs> um I have to actually have like um I would kind of call this a, another ring a skinny or a ring to put in front of it because I have a tendency to like um oh the lighting is terrible I have a ten tendency to um take off my rings before I wash my hands and then there was two incidents where I had taken off like not this ring or my his promising name being you but um, and I forgot about it, and luckily it was still there when I got there. So this is the box that I was talking about. It was, so the ring is in the box in the box. So this is the box. It's from the Ever Us collection from K Jewelers. Shout out to K Jewelers. He actually told me that he wanted he got a box where it didn't say where it's from because he knows that I will look for look up the price for this <laughs> Because I don't like when he spends too much on me. I was telling him. And then we opened the box. It looks like this. And he had trouble taking this out, so yeah, let's just be numb. So this is what it looks like. Let me focus the... It says... Oh, it's terrible. And it says Ever Us. And then all you do is just open it, it looks like this. It says best friend here and then true love. So this is technically like your best friend kind of ring. Um, like the engagement ring you'll give to your best friend. 
And which is true, because it's similar, this ring is similar to the promise ring he got me, um, because, like, it has the little loop-de-loop -loop right here, and then that signifies us and our lives being intertwined. <laughs> And I'm, I really love this ring. The reason why he couldn't focus on taking a picture when I asked if, I not asked, but like when we were taking pictures outside of Gino's Giordano's, <laughs> um, is because he was like, apparently he said he was super, super nervous, and he was like, oh no, the next, we're almost there, we're almost there. He wanted to propose at a Millennium Park, because uh, we had a lot of memories there too. So, <laughs> it was so nervous day, and it was the cutest thing ever, and I, <laughs> and I just love you. I just love you. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and ever since then, being engaged, well, technically it's been like almost a month, almost three months being engaged. Like, I feel like it's kind of chaotic because like, oh, you want to plan your wedding, but you don't know when to have it or who to invite. And it's like very chaotic and weddings are expensive, obviously, but I don't want like just a super, super grand wedding because I only want like a few people there, um, very close people. And um, to be honest with you, I thought he was going to propose sooner, <laughs> um, which I was right because like I had this sense that he has a ring, like an engagement ring, like an official engagement ring. Because like I told my friends and Nina Delisa that I have this weird feeling that they're gonna he's gonna propose anytime. I actually thought that he was gonna propose at Thanksgiving because I flew out there for Thanksgiving. But um I don't know. <laughs> um I guess he wanted to do it back home where it all started. Um but yeah, I just, I still can't believe I'm engaged. I never thought I would be engaged at this age and um, to my best friend nonetheless. And I, like I said, I can't be happier, but it's kind of stressful because you have to start planning your wedding and stuff. And uh, like, oh my God. And for those of you out there who are still trying, struggling to find the one, you will find them. Actually, no, they will find you because <laughs> You need to stop looking all together, get your stuff together, because once you better your stuff, you'll have a better next. And I learned that the hard way, and I got my best friend, <laughs> and it's my fiance, and uh, soon I will be his wife, even though it feels like we're already married, or it feels like we've been together longer, but uh, I just, I'm so cheesy. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but, um, yeah, I can't believe it happened, and in, in my hometown, nonetheless, behind the, the bean, I, I'm just lost for words, anyway, um, <laughs> I'm so cheesy, I'm so sorry, but anyway, another life update is your girl lost 50 pounds already, and uh, that's gonna come in handy when I am looking for that wedding dress. I mean, I already found the wedding dress and um, I can't wait to get it. Yeah, but I'll keep you updated. But thank you for watching this life update. And I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see you next time. But before that, pose for the thumbnail. <laughs> Bye! Have a great day!